So I've just got both the Crosshair 7 and Crosshair 8 side by side so you can both see them both together. I'll uh, just quickly go over the uh, two, we don't need to spend too long here. Um, now I'll just give them a quick going over. So basically this VRM heatsink has a couple of slashes that way and it has a couple like that over there. The new one is a little bit better surface area wise but not a huge amount. Uh, VRM wise the newer one does have a bigger VRM and better. Not that it matters. They both have 8 plus 4's. The new um, plastic tack cover is bigger than the old one so I guess one thing's better uh, this has RGB underneath there and on the crosshair logo this one has RGB across there um, what else is new obviously this one's got the chipset fan and this one's just got a proper chipset cooler but this is just a block on here um, and there's some RGB LEDs under there I'm guessing there will be on this one as well you can see the bottom M.2 slot isn't covered on the 7, whereas it is on the 8, um, but the top one was, so you're not getting anything else there. And um, yeah, the only other thing that I noticed that was annoying actually is um, these buttons down here, retry and save boot, they're now black, which is annoying. Uh, you can see this bottom panel as well. Um, doesn't have the USB 3 on it anymore because they have ye moved the USB 3 to a right angle one up here on this board next to the 3.1 whereas the old one um, it didn't have that and uh, it now has more SATA ports it had 6 before and now it has 8 and interestingly um, a lot of the X570 boards don't have that many SATA ports on so it's interesting that the uh, Asus decided to go with more. Now the rear I.O. is the real letdown for me. The Crosshair 6 didn't have a PS2 port um, and the Crosshair 7 did but now the Crosshair 8 has lost it again which is annoying so that's a bit of a bummer. Obviously I've got the non-Wi-Fi versions because that's where the Wi-Fi goes. Uh, I must say you do get more USB on this newer one and you also get an extra LAN port which uh, nobody cares about because it's only 2.5G and it's not 10 and it's not 1 so they might as well put another 1 on there in my opinion. Uh, slot wise um, we're actually missing a 1x slot on the new board so if you like a bit of mining uh, this board's better because you can run 5 cards this you're only going to run 4 which is lame uh, they've still got this stupid metal shielding on, so idiots don't pull the graphics cards out. Um, this plastic tat is bigger than this plastic tat as well. And also on here, weirdly, these these two um, these two plastic tats are separate, whereas this is all one piece of plastic tat. So this was probably cheaper to make. Um, fan header wise, you've both got three up here. Postcodes in the same place. So, yeah, I think that is about it. What I wanted to go over, I just wanted to show them side by side. Um, my question for people really is, um, is this board worth twice as much as this one? And the answer is no, obviously not. It has all the same stuff on, basically. Um, I don't really see this being worth... Um, nearly 400 quid when this was like 220 when it came out, it's crazy. Anyway, let's get it fired up, let's get the 3800X in, if it will focus on it, and then we'll be off.